everybody. Welcome to the Tekaji Podcast. This is Tekaji Play or Nay. And today, today we are talking about Taco Bell Tasty Temple Challenge. Say that one five times fast. I tried. I messed up on the fifth one. Um, you did. So this game is an interesting game. Uh, it was released in about 2000. I think I, I actually found that it was released between 1990 and 2001. It was being given away uh, as a pack-in with kids meals. Which I don't think Taco Bell has kids meals anymore, right? I don't even I don't even remember Taco Bell ever having kids meals, but whatever. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a dots game, by the way. Which two thousand that ninety nine to two thousand one, it's kind of late for DOS games. Uh, but anyways, you play a character named Baja Bill. You know, like Baja Blast on a quest to explore a temple filled with product placements for Taco Bell. We're gonna find out what we think about it. That That's about all I got. I mean, I'm. I'll go ahead and give my opinion first of it. <clears throat> Start out with um, just gonna say right off the bat, it's not bad. I didn't think it was that bad for a free pack in with a kids meal. You, I, so I finished the game. I don't know if the rest anybody else did. You can do it in about an hour, under an hour. It's not a long game. I spent probably two and a half hours in it, which is longer than I'd like to admit, just because I was messing around seeing, because there were some hidden walls, and I was just, you know, at one point you go through the temple, and it's a maze. Like, I'm not saying it's the most difficult maze, but every corridor looks the same. So, yeah, I was kind of just squirreling around through the Not temple. 90% seeing what I of the find. game looks the same. <laughs> well, it does. You're in the temple. Yes. Um, and there's only a couple, there's only like a couple of different enemies, uh, you know, that you mess, that you fight. Uh, your weapon is a Taco Bell sauce packet. There's mild and hot that you use to uh, fend off these enemies. It actually burns them and turns them into ash. Um, so we're cremating these enemies in the temple with Taco Bell sauce. That's how I would like to go when I'm dead. I, I don't need buried. Cremate me with Taco Bell sauce. Um, don't. So I'm just going to say I'm giving it a thumbs up because it was free. It's a short little game. It was, you know, it was given out to kids. And I mean, how cool if you were a kid. In the late '90s, early 2000s, you got a Taco Bell first-person shooter in with your mail. Come on, that would have been the coolest thing in the world. I would think it was cool now. If they put this game in with my Taco Bell order, this same game, I would be excited that I got a free Taco Bell game. And plus, there's just a whole like niche, uh, you know, thing about it being a Taco Bell first-person shooter. I'm not sure entirely what engine. It was running on. I don't know if it was running on the Wolfenstein or the Doom engine. Pinto. Uh, not sure, but I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty good. I'd give it a thumbs up. I'd say check it out. It's free. You can download it. Do download it though. Don't play it in the browser. It absolutely sucks if you play it in the browser on a couple different sites. We can download. Just download it. And run it in DOSBox, or download it. Put it on a disc and play it on an actual DOS system. You could do that. Windows 95. You could do that as well. Uh, so, yeah. Thumbs up for me. Not as good as some of the other product placement games out there like Chex Quest, which are their two. And they had HD remakes a few years ago, which were very good as well. Um, I know of a couple more that maybe we'll talk about in the future. Maybe we'll just have to do a roundup episode of like these weird fast food brand uh, games. Um but yeah, thumbs up for me. Negatives I thought about it was there was no music really. I thought some of the sound effects were poor. Um, other than that, I'm just trying to judge it by what it is. So JC gives it a thumbs up. Uh, all right, MC, since you're volunteering yourself by blatantly and belligerently thumbs downing it, go ahead. You're up. The, the 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 only way I play this is because it's free. Uh, it's a total doom knockoff with like two textures throughout the whole game. Uh, same monster, same like two or so monsters you shoot with the with the sauce packs. The sounds are just completely obnoxious and terrible, and there is no music. 
for free, I'd say you could play it, but if you had to pay a buck for it, I wouldn't. So, I mean, I just, I mean, it's, it's doom. It's short. It's it, all the walls look the same. It's just a maze. There's no, like, there's hardly anything different. There's no stairs to go up. There's like no, hardly any valleys to go to. I mean, it's just like, it's not, it's not even close to like a doom game. It's, it's just like one level run around a maze. Um, I mean, if you, if you, if it's for free, I'd say sure play it. But if you're gonna pay a buck or two, I would never buy it. Uh, there's no way. So I'm I'm not gonna recommend it. Other than if you want to play a the very most basic Doom game you've ever played in your life. So yeah. I, I think I'd still pay a dollar or two for it. Nah. Just for the just just for the uh, just to say that I had a physical copy of the Taco Bell game. I, haven't, I actually haven't looked on eBay. So. M2, while I give you the microphone here, well, I'm going to look up. One see. thing, I, I, it's nice to talk about created a, a free game for kids, but I'm just saying that it's not worth money at all. So I hope Taco Bell doesn't hear this because you're going to hurt their feelings. Sorry, I love, I like Taco Bell, but I just uh, I didn't think they created a very good game. Not a sponsor. It's a, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. All right, so MC's giving it a thumbs down. I'm going to pass the, the uh, Gordita Crunch over to m2 that's actually a good good uh good thing the gordita good, crunch good reference yeah <laughs> um so i'm torn right it's free game free game for kids it's fun right you're running around you're shooting stuff there's no gun so if you're someone that doesn't like your kid running around with a gun in a game there's no gun that. um you're not shooting other people it's hard to tell if it's blood or if it is uh sauce going everywhere um it feels like an asset flip um where they stole someone else's art and put it into a game um but you know the game runs um i like the sound design actually i think the sound horrible sounds well i liked it for two reasons one since there wasn't a backing track it kind of made it a little spookier Right. If they were playing like the Taco Bell, like jingle the entire time, honestly, I don't think it would have been as interesting. Like I was taking corners like stealthily because I didn't want to get jumped. Right. And that leads me to point two. The sound design was actually really good for spatial sound. You knew where an enemy was based on the sound the enemy was making. Modern games have issues with that. Call of Duty, guys running above you on a catwalk, you don't know where he is. This game did it with snakes that don't make noise on the ground. You know, they don't step. I don't know. Maybe Call of Duty needs to take a page from uh, TTTTC. Um, but did you just <laughs> did you just say <laughs> that? <Jordan> the title? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know how you say that and don't abbreviate it. You know, you, um, you do, not to interrupt well, smarter, not harder. You do I meant Call of Duty to take a. <laughs> take tips <for> this. <laughs> I think you, I think you they can should. make a good point though about the uh, the location awareness with the enemies. Like you can tell, yeah, you, but you the knew shooting, where they were. But the shooting, you could just shoot anywhere, just about, and hit the hit the snake. I mean, you, you had you to, had to hit hit them right on. You, know? you couldn't you couldn't be right on top of them, and until you get the the blow stick, the straw, you couldn't be super far away from them and hit them too. Um, so there's a little bit, a little bit of strategy. I'm not going to say it's like groundbreaking, but if the target audience was kids, yeah. this is fine. Uh, my biggest complaint was that it wasn't comfortable to play as someone that grew up playing modern PC games and even older PC games. Um, it was not fun to control with the mouse. No. And then the other option is the arrow keys and the home end page up, page down button and control. So your option is to try and use the mouse like this. Or control it like this. This wasn't comfortable for a longer play session. Um, and I think my last, or two more comments. One, I thought it was really funny that when you killed an enemy, they became like a dust pile because they were burning to death. Right? Um, but also, you have a hard time walking. You can't walk through the dust. But also, enemies couldn't go through the dust. So if you kill two enemies next to each other in a corridor, you could jump over if you had to. The enemies couldn't get to you. So if there was a bunch of enemies, you just killed two next to each other. And they, that was the strategy. You could bottleneck them. Um, and the enemies will chase you from when they see you. 
They will chase you until they kill you or you kill them. Uh, and I think my biggest issue is when I finally, I don't know if it was a secret area or if I got a, or I was just doing what I was supposed to be doing, but there was like a, a vent and I went in the vent and I jumped a few times. I just started spamming jump in the vent and I ended up no clipping through the map. Um, and so I was able to fly around and look at the level. The level was pretty intricate, pretty, uh, put together. It kind of reminded me of the old Tomb Raider levels where they had a certain amount of space they could utilize. And that's what they did. Now, mind you, I died while I was in the wall cause I was getting attacked by snakes and scorpions that I couldn't see. Right. Um, but you know, if Sam Darnold can throw a ton of interceptions against the Patriots and claim he's seeing ghosts as an excuse, I think Taco Bell can make me no clip once uh, and still get a thumbs up for me. All right, we got two thumbs up, one thumbs down. MM, what's your take? Yeah. Well, you know, this game right here felt like a beta. For, you know, an Indiana Jones game. I mean, it really, it, they could have called it the Diarrhea of Destiny. I mean, this game, I tried to play you, it. Uh, you, you you thought about that joke for like half an hour, I guarantee it. You know, you were inspiration for it. Fair. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm, I tried to play it. I mean, it, you know, you're trying to say you got it. For a dollar, you got it. If I was a kid and my parents took me into Taco Bell and they gave me this instead of like a little superhero or a little, you know, little stuffed toy that I could actually have a lot more fun with, even as an adult, I think the little toy would have actually been more fun than this game. I'd I, shareware, shareware, what I got as a kid, every shareware game I played was better than this game. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I could, I, I, you know, I'm looking at it. It was like, it was like, what if, what if a five year old made Doom? I mean, it was, it, you're talking 2000. That's it. So the technology was there to make a decent Windows game because we were, by that point, we were in at least 95. I mean, sorry, 98. And again, I come back to, this game right here made me long for the days when I could have played Barbie's horse adventures, you know, it's which, which I think that Taco Bell might use that meat for their um, tacos, but you know, this game right here to me, that's not, not an official, not an official belief or opinion of Tekaji podcast. <laughs> True. <laughs> How about this? Like, I, Mike, what'd you think of the bell side? I mean, I had a headache about after the first 15 minutes. Oh, man, I, couldn't, I couldn't even watch it. I mean, it, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was like, it was like a developer asking me to beta test his game and, and, and try to figure out the bugs. Well, I mean, I try, I was trying to shoot a scorpion. I think it was, I mean, it did have a cool little picture of the hot sauce, which they haven't changed the design in 20 years. So that was the best good. graphics in the game. That was the best Don't graphics in the working. game. Yeah. So, I mean, if we have to go thumbs up, thumbs down versus giving it the finger, I have to go thumbs down on this game. It was pretty bad. I mean, this was really a bad game. Um, even, I mean, and it's not free because you would have had your kid yelling at you, Dad, what's this? Where's my toy? You know, as opposed to, you know, giving him his toy. So I give it a thumbs down. There you go. Done. So we're we're tied. We we're don't have tied. a tiebreaker for this one. So it's 50-50 up, 50-50 you know, down. Something. It's the older guys that think it's bad yeah. and the younger guys like it. Hmm. Well, That's interesting. From my, experience, interesting thing. from my experience playing games with the older crowd, you don't know how to play games. So that what makes do you sense. Mean? We know how to play better than anyone. We've played every game out there. Mike, I've watched you struggle for half that's, an hour on a simple be, concept. Yeah, that, that's, that's sounding. That's, that's because sounding I'm like 50, 58 have carpal tunnel and everything else, whereas you're young and you don't have any of that yet. That's that's sounding like we need to group into younger and older generation. Each one of us come up with three games and then do teams, come up with a goal <laughs> for each game and see who wins. Who's the better gamer? 
I'm Older not going versus... to compete with Younger. a young guy that still has reflexes. I don't have them yeah. all beat up. I have, I have a stowed finger I can't even hardly use. Hey, hey Mike, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, but it has to be Donkey Kong and Pac-Man, right? There you go. All right. Roger. Let's I go. Grew up, I grew up with diapers playing Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I don't know if you want to go that route. <laughs> no, I, I, we could go that route. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, did anybody make it to the last boss, or was it just me? <laughs> I, I gave up. Uh, yeah, I, I gave up. I should, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say the last boss. Like, the only boss. <laughs> the, 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 the sounds in the game got so obnoxious for me, I had to give up. I went back to actually doing work. I mean, When I fell right. through the map, I stopped playing. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it for anybody out there in case anybody really wants to play it, but the the, the boss fight is, is, is lackluster, although the boss design... Imagine is pretty, that. But wait, the boss design is actually pretty funny. Um so if you go, go check it out, if you have it, um, you can watch a video somewhere of somebody doing a playthrough probably. But if you know why it's get- funny is if you were crazy enough to actually do it. <laughs> hey, I will, I will give the packet of sauce was a good idea for being the gun that you shot. And I thought the graphics on that was probably better than anything else in the game. Well, Taco oh. Bell, we want a sequel. Give us an updated yeah. 2023 sequel. Use you know the what? new Doom Taco- engine where you could get a little better uh, graphics. <laughs> Taco Bell, we also want you to bring back the Volcano Taco full time. They did just um, bring back the Beefy Crunch uh, burrito. burrito. Volcano Taco. Volcano Please. Taco. All right, Volcano Taco Bell. Taco. You've, you've heard the official word of the Tekichi podcast here. Um, so I just want to real quick sure. drop in and say that I looked on eBay and there's one copy on eBay of this for sale. It's a floppy disk. Comes with the packaging and everything. It, the guy has it listed for thirty, but has make a best offer. I'm gonna make an offer for ten. See if I can get it. Really? <laughs> yep. Offer to send him a back a package of Diablo sauce from Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. Diablo sauce, which did not exist yet, whenever this game came out. Mm-hmm. And also, the Part Verde sauce did not exist yet. See, this this is what makes me laugh though. Just because the game's old, they charge you thirty bucks for it. The game's lousy. I, I mean, it should be a lot. My yeah, just because it's made by EA, they charge sixty dollars for the same hockey game they've been releasing for ten years. Yeah, I agree with you, ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> I'd rather pay thirty dollars for Taco Bell than buy the newest NHL, where I have to restart my console every time I play because I don't have sound vibration and my characters don't change lines. John, send the guy a coupon to Taco Bell and ask him for the game. <laughs> send him a couple of rolls of toilet paper. I'm going to need it. <laughs> All right. Well, two thumbs up, two thumbs down. Check out our next episode of Player Name. Maybe it'll be better. I don't know. We'll see what we're playing next we time. we got to pick a better game. <laughs> Come on. The whole I point say, of play- the, the, I say this, no matter what we say, everyone should play the game, but – I'm, I'm just warning you ahead of time. It's not very good. Well, the whole Look, point I of player, if player, the whole point of player A isn't to pick grade A games. We're picking games that have have a, have a have a reputation for not being good games, and then giving our opinions. That's the point of Tech or well, of uh, player A. True. You, you know. You know My what? My philosophy is everyone should try every game. Exactly. So that. try it and put in the comments who is right. Is it a thumbs yeah, up or a great. thumbs down game? Yeah, I'd love to great. see that. I'd love yeah, to, love see, to see, see how many people like it and just, how many just people put don't. Us in a, put us in emoji, the thumbs up or thumbs down emoji in the comments. Put a finger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah or if, yeah, some finger. All right, well, thanks for checking out Tech Uchi Podcast Player Nay. This is Taco Bell, Tasty Temple Challenge. Oh, I still remember the name. What do we call it? TBTTC. TTTTC. As we here at Tech Uchi always say, Stay nerdy, my friends. Live boss, baby.